So I'm here at Dover Castle and I want to talk about a chain mail because they have a, a suit of real chain mail here. And it's, it's something I think is one of the most misunderstood things in fiction and popular history. And that's because 90% of the time or more when they test it on shows like The Deadliest Fail or History Channel documentaries or something, they're using something called butted chain mail. So if you have a necklace or something, butted, butted uh, chain mail is basically they just take a ring, or they just take a strip of metal, and they fold it into the shape of a circle. They don't seal it, they don't close it, and just the memory of the metal is supposed to be what holds it together. Now, if you've ever worn a necklace and the charm has just fallen off of it, and I've lost a number of crucifixes that way until I bought one that, that has, like, a closed... Um, like a closed loop that you just um, uh, slide the chain through. And that one works. And like the clasp on the back of your necklace normally works and that's closer to riveted. But those things are just crappy. Like you can pull them apart. Think of like your keychain. That's another example of a, a butted ring. It's, it's just, it's not gonna stop anything. You can pull it apart with your hands to say nothing of a, a big heavy sword or a spear or, or something like that. So this here is proper riveted chain mail. So as you can see, it is there's like a screw or something and it is closed shut. Each individual ring is locked shut. So if you hit this thing with a spear or whatever, you're gonna have to have enough force to break through a number of these simultaneously and they're all overlapping, etc. And there's always this meme that if you, you stab chain mail with something fairly thin, it's going to just come apart and it will for butted. But riveted chain mail, there's these guys on YouTube who did a video, stop using butted chain mail in historical videos. And they take a, 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 a shirt of proper chain mail and they like smash it with heavy swords. They, they spear it. It'll stop a peel on It'll stop a literal lead dart. Now, will it still kill you? It probably will, just from internal injuries. But it, this will stop just about anything. And people will say, oh, it's useless. But people wouldn't have used it for so long if it was useless. And the, the Romans actually were using plate. They were using the Loricum uh, segmentata for a while. But they switched back to this. Because uh, this was more efficient. Um, it's not perhaps as flexible or as light as Renaissance plate, but the advantage that this has over, say, something like plate mail is you don't have to clean this, or you very rarely have to clean this. See, like, look at this. I'm moving it. You can hear all the rings rubbing up against each other. Chain mail, if you wear it, doesn't rust. You just, um, if, if you really need to clean it, uh, how you do it is you put it in a a big sack with sand and you roll it around. But the friction keeps the rust off. So it was great for the Roman legionaries because they had, um, there there was a lot smaller, they didn't need as big a, a mail suit because they had their tower shields. But if they just wore it when they were marching, it required almost no maintenance and it could last decades with very little maintenance. I mean, they'd have to fix the rings if they broke, but it wouldn't rust. And that's an amazing thing. <laughs> And the Loricum segmentata would just rust like crazy. You had to constantly oil it. You had to constantly scrape the rust off. And it wasn't particularly more effective than this. And what they'd wear is they'd wear a gambeson or like padded armor under this. So they'd hit you with a sword. This would absorb the slash. And then the rest of it would be absorbed by your padding underneath. So very cool. It's nice to see like a, an actual one here. But I mean, they wouldn't have used it if it wasn't effective.